comes to Arkansas hunting, there's nothing quite like alligator season. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission awarded just over 100 permits for last year's gator season, so it represents one of the state's most uncommon hunting opportunities. And of course, there's an element of fear that goes along with hunting an animal like this. Alligators are different. You gotta get up close to them. You gotta get up on them. You gotta get personal with them. Uh, you know, typical, you're gonna give within 10 to 12 feet of them, either the harpoon or snare the one. So there's a little bit of intimidation factor a lot of people have, you know, about getting up on it, especially a bigger alligator. Arkansas doesn't have the number or density of alligators as states like Louisiana and Florida, but they're here in big enough numbers to support a limited and highly regulated hunting season for two weekends every September. We're the only state, as far as I know, that actually has alligator hunting that's landlocked. All the other states have a shoreline. We do not. I mean, we're totally encased by land all the way around. Um, so with that being said, you know, we're kind of a unique situation to begin with. Uh, and the whole alligator industry population, you know, we're small as far as players in it, but we do have viable population for people to hunt. It's just we have to be, keep that in mind when we're doing this. You know, we don't have that constant habitat that's always there to replenish it, so we have to be kind of cautious and conservative about what we do here. Arkansas historically had a robust alligator population, mostly in southern parts of the state, but illegal and market hunting greatly reduced their numbers. In the mid-20th century, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission worked with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries to repopulate alligators to suitable habitats in southeastern and southwestern Arkansas. And they transported juvenile animals up to, as well as some adults, up to Arkansas and scattered them in southern counties. And uh, from then the population just moved on and moved on and it's gotten to the point to where it is now. Since 2001, we have done spotlight surveys every spring on the same pieces of property in order to keep our database constant. And in 2006, we presented to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that, hey, this is what we have. And they let us have a hunt in 2007, which is our very first year. Game and fish biologists conduct annual surveys to make sure alligator populations remain sustainable. When we go out and do our spring spotlight counts, we'll go out to these actually known populations, these known locations we have done year after year, and then we're gonna look for two things, the number of gators we see, and then we see the size class. And then from that, that's how our tag issuance is allocated. Arkansas's alligator hunt is regulated by a permit hunt, with the permit application period open from June 15th to June 30th every year at agfc.com. You'll select what area you want to hunt in, which zone. We have zone one, zone two, and zone three. Uh, southwest, south central, southeastern Arkansas. And you'll apply either for a public tag or private land at large tag. Uh, public tag is designated bodies of water that are public waters to hunt fish for the state. And private land at large is pretty much a tag that you can use on any private piece of property as long as you obtain written land on permission to hunt on that said piece of property prior to the hunt. There are several reasons the Game and Fish Commission allows alligator hunting. I mean, we have an alligator season you know, pretty much like you would have, you know, have a deer season too to help control some of the numbers. And it's just a way you can help change some of the genetics out, turn over some of the bigger ones out, get them out of an area. And then also to deal with some nuisance issues that some people may have on properties. But contrary to what some might believe, not every alligator you see is classified as a nuisance alligator. Nuisance alligator is not necessarily, you know, you're driving down a highway and you look out there in a, you know, a roadside pond or a lake and say, you see one out there on the log. I've had people call and say, hey, I see a gator out there on the log. What's he doing? He's laying there. Go get him. No, he's in a natural habitat. We're not going to bother him. A nuisance alligator is one that shows up on the roadway. It shows up in somebody's yard, uh, potentially a swim, an in-ground swimming pool, one ventures off into it. But if there is an actual nuisance alligator problem, Game and Fish employees are ready to respond. Nuisance alligator complaints are handled by Arkansas Game and Fish staff in each region. There are staff on hand that that's what they do. They go out and address each issue that is a nuisance problem. And then we catch them and we relocate them. The life cycle of Arkansas alligators starts with the breeding season in April and May. Females start building nests and laying eggs from mid-May through the first part of June. She may lay anywhere from 30 to 50, 60 eggs at one time in there. And then she'll regulate and she'll mark that nest. She'll stay with that nest around it until they hatch out. Once they hatch out then, they'll hang around there and then they'll start dispersing out, which is typically gonna be around the last part of August, you know, first part of September, they should all be off nest. For anybody who's interested in seeing alligators in the wild, the best chances to spot a gator are in the southern half of the state. 
pretty much anywhere from the 40 corridor south, you can see them pretty readily. Southeast Arkansas, Southwest Arkansas has the largest populations. South Central does have some as well. And there's occasionally one that will venture north of the 40, I-40 corridor that way. And it's got a lot to do with the temperature range. You know, it's warmer down here naturally, so we have a more abundance of them down the habitat's better as well. Whether you're just viewing them in the wild or seeking one of the highly coveted alligator hunting permits, the presence of the American alligator is just one more wildlife resource that makes the natural state unique. You know, Arkansas is the only state that I know of that you can elk hunt, bear hunt, turkey hunt, deer hunt, and alligator hunt. 